Hello, this is Ralph, and I am back with my new improved horseshoe slingshot. I'm going to try to get that in this little viewfinder here. But I went ahead and I replaced the office rubber bands with some surgical tubing, uh, some heavier bands that I bought off of simpleshot.com. And then I got my homemade pouch attached to it and the old horseshoe. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm up a little closer. I'm going to cheat here because this isn't the most accurate slingshot, but actually for a homemade jobby out of just, you know, not the best materials I could find, uh, it actually works fairly decent. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, if whether or not I can hit a target that's about eh, three yards in front of me. So this is going to be hunting at fairly close range. So going to be shooting just rocks, irregular shaped rocks, and we're going to see if I can kind of hit a big old bottle here. Let's see how this goes. I hit the blue barrel. I need to bring it up some. I'm going to try another rock. And problem I'm having with these bands is that they do kind of jumble up on me. These aren't the best bands for this thing. Now, there we go. That's it. That's what you can do with the right sized shot. Not too bad. Put it like that. See if I can hit the front now. Give that one more try with the same rock. Oh. Uh, I had a misfire on that one. Let's try a different rock here. I have a feeling I'm going to have to be doing a lot more practice with this thing. Overcorrect it to the other side. Because the truth is, if I had to be hunting with this particular homemade weapon, I'd be going hungry two out of three times. <laughs> but that wasn't a bad shot. So, overall, I'd have to say for a homemade jobby, this isn't bad, but the, uh, the drawbacks, am I in this frame? I'm going to see if this gets me in the frame here. Definite drawbacks is it's very heavy. I got a heavy horseshoe attached to a pair of vice grips with some fairly decent slingshot rubber bands here. But I mean, this is just too heavy for the job. This is okay if I was going to throw it at something and just use it as a throwing weapon. But for a shooting weapon, yeah. Uh, very, very uh, improperly balanced, not, not a very good weight. What I'm going to end up doing is taking these good slingshot bands off of this uh, old horseshoe and then make a regular wooden uh, slingshot out of a tree fork and then uh, see how that works. It's going to be a heck of a lot lighter and probably I'm thinking a lot more accurate because after a few shots with this thing, my my arm is pretty much worn out my holding arm so uh yeah we're going to try something different but uh you know that's what you can do with uh, some of these uh old things you have lying about your house and one thing i do like and uh I, you really can't see it from from this angle here but i've actually had a few rocks that have pierced that uh, that plastic bucket there, that's an old peanut oil uh, bucket that we had, we emptied, three gallon bucket. And I actually have had some of the rocks penetrate that bucket. So I do have a lot of power here in this slingshot. It's just whether or not I can focus it correctly. But we'll try one last shot here. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of practice and uh, We'll get this thing done right, but I think my next video I will be demonstrating a more professionally made slingshot 
rather than a cobbled one from uh, household garbage and uh, <laughs> hopefully have something uh, a little bit better to share. But until later, this is Ralph signing out. Catch you in future updates. Thanks for dropping by.